Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm just starting my day. Today, I wanna give out a special shout out to Carson. Carson recently received his driving permit, which means he's going to be joining us to share the roads. Let me start out by posing a question because I know that I don't have all the answers and uh, there are things that I may miss out that um, some of you truck drivers out there could be able to help, help with. So I want to pose a question to you. If there is one piece of advice that you could give to uh, someone that is driving a small car to be safe around trucks, what is that advice? What would you tell them? For me, the one word that I came up with was space. So what I want to do is share with you some of the mistakes that I see drivers do out there, most four-wheelers, the mistakes are that they do out there. And hopefully through talking about those mistakes, you can know um, how to avoid them. One of the things that you will realize that all these mistakes are going to be uh, talking about again the idea of giving the trucks space. Some of these things are going to uh, sound obvious but again they are mistakes that people do. Uh, so mistake number one is people tailgating trucks. For one reason or another I see drivers that will tailgate a truck and uh, the thing is as a small car you are behind that truck you don't know what is ahead you can't see what's ahead so when you are tailgating it and anything happens and the truck comes to a sudden stop chances are you are going to be ending into this dot bar or sometimes even under the truck so you want to avoid um tailgating trucks it's, it, it sounds obvious but people do it the other thing is, as much as possible, avoid being in the sides of the truck. I have seen drivers that uh, just drive and they come from wherever they are and they just stay alongside the truck. For no good reason, they are right there, maybe they are distracted by their phone or, or they are talking to somebody in the car having a conversation and they just forget and they take their time uh, staying in, uh, besides the truck. Not because there is any car ahead of them, but just because they are distracted. One thing is people forget how long this truck is. And so they come to pass and they are taking their time, but this truck is really long. It takes some time for you to pass it. So I see people coming at a slow pace, trying to pass it, but they spend a lot of time here. So again, it goes back to the idea of giving the truck space. When you decide to pass a truck, just as much as possible pass it as fast as you can get out of its sides one of the most dangerous spots to be in beside a truck is this spot right here right here somewhere around here trucks have what we call blind spots and what those are, are, are really spots where we cannot see you i think you've seen some of the uh, stickers on trucks where it says that if you can't see my mirrors i can't see you so we have a different mirrors let me show you you see we have this mirror this mirror we have that mirror right there we have that one right there and then we have this one right here this one and that one and then we have that one so we will be checking those mirrors to make sure that we see you but sometimes one of the most dangerous spot to be in is this spot right here because when uh, truck drivers are trying to make a, a lane change, this is where most of the accidents happen. 
because they will look in these mirrors and they see that they can maybe uh, squeeze or squeeze into that lane but then there is a small car somewhere here and because it's small it may be down there and you can't see it and so you try to make the lane change and you end up hitting the car some trucks all trucks should have this mirror but some trucks don't have that mirror right there the hood mirror so as much as possible avoid being in this area again it goes back to the um, to the point of leaving space around the truck. So we've talked about the space behind saying that you shouldn't tailgate. We've talked about the space on the sides saying that as much as possible stay away from the sides of the truck. We've talked about the blind spot saying that avoid that space. Now obviously we need to talk about the space in front of the truck. Now the thing about the space in front of the truck is that technically speaking you as somebody that is in front of the truck you have no control about that space it's my responsibility as the truck driver behind you not to tailgate you and to leave a cushion between you and myself but the problem is that people cut us off they cut us off of that space so like when somebody passes you after they've passed you they just get in front of you without leaving you with that space now of all the spaces that we have behind the side and the front the front is the most important space that we need I mean when you are behind me I really can't do anything about it it's your responsibility to give me that space when in your you are in the side I may not mind that much but when you are in front of me that space is very important people do not realize that these vehicles are too big they are too heavy and because of their size it takes a long time for them to come to a complete stop or for them to maneuver we can't swerve these trucks as easy as you can swerve a small car so of all the space that we have around us the front is the most important space and so when you pass a truck and just cut in front of it that is a dangerous thing to do so when you pass a truck you want to pass and leave enough space before you march back into the lane so as much as possible do your best always to remember space matters and as i said the most important space is the space in front of us the other mistake i see people do is uh, they underestimate uh, the speed of the truck and so say for example when they are coming in from driveways or from small roads and they are trying to join the main road uh, they look at the truck and they think oh it's moving slow I can quickly get into the, the road or oh, they just underestimate the speed at which it's moving and they forget that when they are marching from a small street or from a driveway they don't have enough speed and so they come in they are slow and the next thing you know it's easy for this truck that is moving at a higher speed to hit you or to just get into an accident so as much as uh, as possible avoid and when you see a truck coming don't just assume it's slow or don't assume it's gonna stop give it time let it go and then wait for for when it's clear for you to get into into the road the other thing i see is people merging into freeways uh people when they sit again when they see trucks coming when they are merging into the freeway they are either very slow or 
uh, they look at the truck and uh, and they, they are maybe like in the middle, right? So the truck has already passed the entrance of the freeway and you, you are trying to get into the freeway and you are like, oh, I'm going to try and get in front of this truck. So guys, drive very fast from the back just because they want to get in front of the truck. I see many drivers do it. There's no need to do that. Just take your time, wait for the truck to go, get behind it. If you know you are already ahead of the truck, then drive as fast as you can so that again you can give it space margin as fast as you can and continue driving fast so that you give it a bumper of space but if you realize that the truck is already like maybe ahead of you or you are you are just in line with it slow down wait for it to go since it's already at high speed and then march in behind it at the end of the day remember you, you would rather be safe and go back to your family safe. So it's all going to come back to one thing. If you can remember to give the truck space, whether you are behind it, whether you are in the side or you are in front of it, always remember space is what we need. When we are up here driving, uh, sometimes we may not be able to see you because you are in our blind spot. The other thing that I remember that I need to point out is never assume that whoever is behind that, uh, the steering wheel of a truck and knows what they are doing. Just think about it, what if the person that is driving the truck is a student and uh, they are in training? That also is going to affect how they handle the truck. What if they just completed their training, that is the first time they are in the truck by themselves uh, doing their solo run? Uh, they may not know how to handle that truck as as good as an experienced driver. What if they are distracted? What if they are on their phone? Because remember, uh, truck drivers are humans too. We are sometimes distracted. Somebody may be on their phone. Uh, somebody may be eating something. Somebody may be fidgeting with the radio. Maybe they are looking down for something. They may be distracted. Maybe they are just in thought, thinking about something. You never know who is behind that truck and what's going on in his mind or her mind so always remember it's your responsibility to also make sure that as you share that road with other drivers uh, that it's your responsibility to make sure that you are safe so again it's gonna go back to the point that I'm making that uh, remember this these trucks are big and they are heavy and also remember that they need a lot of space if you can remember those things I promise you you will be a safe and uh, professional driver out here on the road. So again, I just want to give out a shout out to uh, Carson and to all the new drivers out there. And we welcome you on the road and I hope that we will share the road safely and we'll have a good time out here. All right, guys, until next time, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye-bye.